Houston, and same thing as I was asking you opening the picture, it must be nice to give Seattle this new opportunity to have a postseason game after so long. What does that mean to you? And what is, in your opinion, what Seattle must do in order to defeat a very powerful Houston Astros team? Yeah, very excited about being able to give the, the fans in the city of Seattle a home playoff game. I know something they've wanted for a long time, and um, us as players have wanted as well. So. Um, but we got to take care of business here. A uh, couple games here in Houston, tough place to play. Um, we know they're a really good team. We played them a lot throughout the season, so we know what they got. Um, play good baseball, you got a chance to win. So uh, one game at a time. Front row over here. Daniel. Hey, Adam, Daniel Kramer, MLB.com. What have the past 48 hours been like for you? Just all the text messages and, and the reaction from family and friends over, you know, what happened over there in Toronto? Uh, a lot of excitement. Um, to go through that crazy g game two like that, um, you know, I think us as a club was trying to process just exactly what did happen. But then, yeah, you know, to, to get a hit, um, to change the game, my phone's been on fire. so. Um, <laughs> it's, I spent all day yesterday responding to people. So, um, you know, excited that we, we were able to get two days off, though, because I think it's, uh, uh, coming off of that, to, to be able to get that extra day is huge recovery-wise for the body and, and the mind. So, um, you know, we, it's a good refresher today, get our feet wet here in Houston, and then, uh, you know, hit the ground running again tomorrow. Go right over here to Corey. <coughs> Hey, Adam, Corey Brock with The Athletic. I, I'm curious about Luis Castillo. We saw the start the other day and the handful of starts he's made since the trade. But you probably have a deeper history playing the National League with him. What made him such a tough at bat when you saw him over on the other side? Well, I think <clears throat> everything you saw the other night is what made him a tough at bat. But, um, you know, playing against him, being in Pittsburgh for all those years, him and Cincy um, faced him a lot. And, you know, it's, it's 97 to 100 that moves a couple, three feet. And then he's got a, a straight one that is 100 miles an hour to go with an elite changeup and a slider. So um, it's not like he's just throwing either. He can, he can hit locations um, anywhere in the zone with all three pitches. And um, <laughs> when, when you add all that together, it's, you know, strap it on and good luck. That's basically what it was. Uh, back then and what it is now. So uh, he's a lot of fun to watch, and, and we're really excited he's on our side. Middle on the left. Hey, Adam, Chris Egan, uh, King 5 TV in Seattle. You mentioned this is a tough place to play. It's about moving forward. But how much can you guys take what happened in Toronto with, with confidence and momentum and, and bring that here to Houston? Yeah, um, you know, Houston's a fun place to play. Maybe I should have said that instead of tough. Uh, you know, it's you, you. You live for the packed houses. The the atmosphere is like what we experienced in Toronto, and we know it's going to be more of the same here in Houston. It gets real loud, and it's a dome. It's uh, I'm sure the roof will be closed. So we're excited about that. Um, more so, you're you're playing against the team, and not the fans. So um, we know they they play a pretty strong brand of baseball. So um, we got to play good ball to to win. Play clean baseball, you got a chance. So. Um, they've also been sitting at home for a week, so I'm sure they're feeling fresh, but at the same time, you know, timing may be a little off. So uh, hoping for that, and we'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Go on the back left back there with Rick. Hey, Adam, Rick Riz with the Mariners broadcast. Uh, that was one of the greatest comebacks in postseason history. At what point during the game did you think, you know, we got a chance to win this thing? And how were you able to slow the game down and come up with that huge hit in the uh, top of the ninth inning? Uh, probably after Carlos's homer, um, you know, really got us in th within three, I guess. Um, with our bullpen, we knew we had a chance. Um, it was a rough start for um, for us as a whole to begin the game. Gosman pretty pretty much shut us down. I don't think we had a hit until the fifth or so. So um, once he hit that homer, we were back in it, and it was one at bat at the time at that point. So. Um, but yeah, in the ninth, it was, I don't know, I felt pretty calm. It's, we ha had a game plan against him and, and got a pitch to hit and luckily found a hole. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, just go up there and, and re trust your eyes, trust your hands, and, and react. And that's what it did. Stay in the back left. 
Alyssa, Char Alyssa Charleston, Fox 13 News in Seattle. Adam, going against Justin Verlander, you guys went five, or one and five against him this year. What makes him tough? And what are you guys thinking mentality-wise into this matchup? Uh, everything makes him tough. It's, uh, you know, he's a Hall of Fame pitcher. He's been doing it for 20 years or so. He, he knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Um, you know, he's kind of like Castillo. He can, he throws upper 90s and he can move the ball around the zone wherever he wants. And then uh, he's a pitcher. So um, you just got to try to hit the mistakes. Uh, foul off the tough ones and hit the mistakes. But, uh, we've gotten to him a couple of times. So we we know what to expect and I think being able to face him throughout the year is going to help us um, because uh, that helps you with any pitcher I guess but um, yeah so looking forward to that challenge tomorrow go to the second row right here Matt Calkins with the Seattle Times Adam you were pretty open at the early part of the year about how you were struggling a little bit and trying to find yourself just curious what the, the next few months were like for you mentally able to kind of find your footing again and, and, and how much you appreciate it now having kind of been the game two hero and, and I don't one want, of the game two heroes. I, I don't appreciate the struggles at all, but uh, it's, um, it's been a grind all year, really. It's, uh, you feel like you're going good, you line out a couple of times, maybe don't get a bounce your way and um, just feel like it's been a roller coaster. So. Um, it's just compete now. Uh, go up there and compete, see what happens, and uh, try to get all the swing mechanics and thoughts out of your head and just go compete, and uh, that's where I'm at. We'll stay on the right with Larry. Uh, Larry Stone, Seattle Times. Um, on JP's double, he, he spoke of looking back and seeing you hauling around the bases. Did you kind of find an extra gear on that play? Was that the fastest you've ever run around the bases? <laughs> and uh, what was your thoughts on that whole play as it unfolded? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just put my head down and ran the uh, I mean two outs there you're going on on the swing and then I see them you know converging together so uh, you know if it fell I was going I knew how the turf in Toronto is pretty bouncy for them to be able to field that uh, cleanly would have been a challenge and then you know unfortunately they collided and uh, Springer got a little banged up there um, but it bounces over top of his head, and then I was, I mean, Manny swinging, swinging his arm, so I never slowed down, and uh, yeah, I knew what that run meant, um, especially, you know, for that ball to fall, it was, was everything for us, and, um, you know, I wasn't planning on stopping, you know, unless they were going to have to make a play to get me at home. Go on the back, Shannon. Shannon Dreyer, Seattle Sports. Adam, before the series in Toronto, so many guys talked about not knowing what to expect because they hadn't been there. What are some of the things that have been learned about the postseason and playing postseason games with this group? Um, I mean, it's one pitch at a time, which it's like that all season. I guess it just gets amplified a little bit, but um, it take a little more out of you because it's you know it's it's that more you're more locked in. Everybody's more locked in. The crowd's in it. Um, you just feel like there's just, uh, you know, not that much more energy. So, um, but other than that, it's still baseball. So just, you might have a little excitement, nervous energy in game one, but once you, uh, once you get your feet wet, it was, it's just a baseball game and uh, with a packed house, at, which is what you want anyway. So just, uh, it's one pitch at a time. We'll go right here in the front with Daniel. Adam, you guys as a team over the past, two plus months have hit a ton of homers uh, and how important has it been from you know guys like you at the bottom order to just get on base so that if you keep the line moving that eventually you guys will do some damage with runners on scoring position and everything yeah I mean I guess it goes back to knowing your role it's uh, I mean obviously I'm not the home run guy so just do whatever I can to, to get on base um, but yeah we just the keep the line moving is kind of something we've talked about all year and uh, when you know, not just our team. When any team does that, you're you're gonna be in a position to to win a game. Um, but yeah, we got we got you know five or six guys in the lineup that can leave the yard at any point. We got 20 or so homers, and uh, um, you know <laughs> that's good for us. It's it's real good for our offense, and it's it's dangerous. Um, you know, it makes makes us dangerous in the postseason when we can. Uh, you know, we're not a big strikeout team, so we can we can we keep the line moving, as you said. Go one more in the back with Shannon. 
Adam Scott talks about you kind of having opinions on a lot of things during the game and mound visits and things like that. You're in it. You are watching everything very closely. What do you like about this team right now where they're at? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's how you, you get guys out and stuff like that. You're paying attention to, um, you know, how they're swinging, what they're doing. But what I like about this team is everybody's all in together, and uh, we've been like that pretty much all season. It's uh, we're very close knit. Uh, we bring the energy. Everybody's fighting for one another and supporting one another to to get the job done. It's not like uh, myself or any one other guy's got to be the hero. It's more that keep it, keep the uh, line moving mentality, and I think. Um, you know, we just support each other and, and we're rooting hard for each other every time somebody is in the box. So um, that's why I, I like where we're at with that and I think that's why we've won a lot of games this year.